tonight is the night. We want to take you guys underwater and see what is out hunting during the night time. Oh. oh my god, I've never seen anything like that. Happy Sunday everyone. Yeah, welcome back guys. Now today is our favourite day of the entire month because there's a full moon tonight. And that means two really, really cool things happen. One is Jack is going to turn into a werewolf. <laughs> I thought we'd keep it that a secret. There's two other things that happen guys. Is there's, there's big tides, which means the entire bay behind you here is drained out. It's all out of water. So we're going to go for a walk and see what we can find now that there's yep. no water left. And the second thing is at night time, under the full moon, there's all sorts of crazy animals come out and hunt underwater. So we're going to find a spot to go for a bit of a night snorkel and see what's feeding tonight on the full moon. Yeah, it's going to be fun. But for now, guys, let's go for a bit of a walk over this entire bay where someone's pulled the plug on. There's no water anymore. What have you got, Fran? This means that there's mud muscle in the area. We've yeah, we've eaten them before for a great adventure one. Yeah, starting to learn about these mud mussels, which is awesome. There you go. If it does that, you obviously know you're, you're um, feeling in the right direction. I didn't like them personally, <laughs> but they're edible. No, so and that's I feel like we could cook them better than the great adventure one. Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah, so that's half of the shell. Pick up the other half here. Oh, yeah, so it's a bivalve that lives under the mud and it tastes like a a bungalow if you cook it properly, I guess. <laughs> uh, let's go, let's go see if we can find anything else. Yeah. What have you... Oh, I can see something in the rising. So guys, on the few days of the month where the tide drains out so quick, it can mean that some marine animals actually get stranded on these mud banks here, like the turtles and um, fish and sharks. So Fran's actually just spotted a couple of shells here which um, we assume a turtle, so we're gonna go have a bit of a look and see how they're going. Let's go check if they're right. This one is definitely a male. He's got a long tail. <laughs> His shell is all cracked. Look at that. So this guy's actually still doing Often when they're like this, it's because they might have just had a run in with a shark or they're exhausted and they just want to chill out for a few hours while that tide's low. This guy's another male. Sorry, it's not you, Yeah. Oh. Oh. Cute. He's so tiny. Little tiny. He's a Look at this turtle, it's got the head underwater. Another turtle here. He's got a little bit of water that he can uh, he can keep cool. The real concern is when the tide drops so quickly, these guys, they quite literally can get bogged in this mud and all the water disappears. And you can see now he's just conserving his energy because it's going to be a long five hours for him here at least until that tide floods back in. You just hope that the sun doesn't come out too much and, and heat him up because it is a concern. They can actually overheat and kind of cook themselves on a really hot day here. So we just saw green turtles for now. Yeah, so these are all green turtles and we've only seen males, which is interesting. And now because the water's so low, we can literally walk across to this next island that we haven't been to, we haven't explored yet. Let's go check it out. All these islands have got kind of different things. Um, so let's go see what we can find over there. What did you see? Look at this, look at this crab, look at how well he's camouflaged. See oh. how he just oh. buries into the sand? Yeah. <laughs> So cute. Just trying to dig in. Yeah. There you are. It's cool how he just buries in, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It looks like a rock. Oh, yeah. There we go. Look at him go. It looks like a rock. Oh, there's some rain coming. That's a big band of black cloud. It's 
Someone didn't make it. Some of these turtles don't make it, unfortunately, when they get stuck on the mud banks. Trying to get a bit of shelter in the middle of this coconut forest, but in here there's a lot of mosquitoes. And centipedes. And centipedes. Check out what's on the other side of this island. Yep. I hate centipedes. Oh, some crabs on this side. The crabs are marching across the bank here. What else can we see? A couple of reef sharks as always in the shallows. Wonder if there's any mud crabs here, Fran. What's your first impression of this little island, Fran? Well, it's very similar to the other <laughs> islands. <laughs> yeah, it is. In here, with, with it uh, being low tide at the moment, all the water is out. But it would be a quite a nice little spot with the water up we at the... We will all be underwater at high tide. Yeah. Amazing how palm trees are so resilient. The coconuts just grow out of salt water. Amazing, hey? That is a big log. You can make a canoe out of it. Yeah, a leaky canoe. If you look closely here, there's so many different crab holes of all different shapes and sizes. And it's one of the amazing things about here is the different species of crabs of all different colors, shapes and sizes. It's really cool. Swooped you, friend. Yeah. You won't have our head today. <laughs> he's coming back, he's coming back. Oh, he's <laughs> 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 It does seem like he wants your hair. Yeah. Look, he's coming back. <laughs> 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 so brave, Fran. Look at this snipper hat. Wow, that's a big one. The one had a fight. Look at this tiny oh. turtle. It's the back half of a really small turtle. Yeah. It's almost like that crab smashed him up. <laughs> crab v turtle, maybe. We've just been seeing three species of turtles here, which is the green turtle, hawksbill, and the loggerhead. But what we want to see eventually, mm. when we get back out in clear water, is a leatherback turtle. They're like the big deep ocean in the middle of nowhere. We had the luck of seeing one in the Great Adventure Tour. We show you some footage now, but they're just so prehistoric. Oh, amazing. They're just so cool. So yeah, hopefully we'll see one one day. And the flatback turtles which we saw in the Great Adventure 1. But do, we don't get them here. Not here? Yeah. Remember we saw the crocodiles eating yeah, them? Yeah, 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 but we won't see them here. No, not here. Yeah. We'll show you some footage of the flatback as well. Yeah. So you can have a good understanding of the different species and why they have their names. <laughs> yeah. Oh. This could be useful. Jack has just gone for a walk to see if he could find something to eat. And I can't believe I found this. Hey Jack, look what I found. Wow. That is going to be incredibly useful as a helmet. <laughs> no, but we finally can cook something else. Oh, awesome. I know Fran's been wanting to cook on something raised for a long time. So yeah. this is just, this is just a blessing. You're going to have to make coconut oil. Have you got any? No, oi! I've come <gasps> back bearing gifts. So these are a beach almond or any monkey block PNG, anyone from Papua New Guinea where I grew up would know this as a talus. And we used to love eating these. Basically, there's a little almond uh, in the middle of them. Let's crack them open and have a little bit of a snack. What? 
Are they rotten? No, they're just once they dry out, that's when you you know they're good to be. I think I'm sitting on a crab. Mmm, they're good, they're like peanuts. Yeah, just like an almond. We'll, um, we'll crack a few of these open and then guys, it's, it's really starting to heat up here, so I think it's almost time to find somewhere for a swim for him. Yeah. There you are. You want oh, this one? Perfect. No, you have it. Check this out guys, out behind us here are some deep rock pools and they actually look deep enough to hold a fair bit of life, which is really, really cool. What do you think, Fran? I think what we want to see is what the different animals do at different time of the day. Yeah. So it would be super cool to go for a night snorkel and see how they act differently or if there's anything else that is not out during the daytime. Let's see what animals we can find. That water is so clear. This little guy is being so territorial. It's just a little damsel. That is the biggest spider cod I've ever seen. How was that? It was so cool. I love that. There's so many different species, hey? Yeah. It's just like a nursery for all the little ones, but at the same time, they're like huge uh, bluefin trevally. And sharks? And sharks. Um, it's gonna be super cool and interesting to see what comes out at night. I think there's gonna be all sorts of um, species hunting. Yeah. They are not out at daytime. Yeah, we'll come back yeah. later, right? Eh? For an adventure. <laughs> Don't dodge me right now. <laughs> Alright guys, the sun is set. It's now night time and it's actually a full moon tonight. So tonight is the night. We want to take you guys underwater and see what is out hunting during the night time. There's all sorts of different nocturnal animals. Let's go see what we can find. Windy. You can't tell but it's really bright with the moon tonight. It's almost full moon. All right, to get to the rock pools where we were today that we want to show you guys, we've actually got to cross over a channel here and the tide's come in a little bit since um, since we saw it today. So it means the current's quite strong, um, but we're just going to make a dash for it and hopefully we hit this island before the current sort of washes us off the other side. The current is so strong. Yeah, the current's ripping. 
ripping, isn't it? There's a fish here. Hi, mate. A little surgeon tang is hiding up in the rock pools. All right, are you ready? I'm ready, Fran. I'm you... ready. Oh, you're getting back to me now. All right. Oh. All right. All right, let's... this is very exciting. We just got to this spot and uh, the smallets jumping everywhere. There this is, place is definitely oh. alive. Yeah, there's so many fish in there. Let's go. Let's go for it. Holy. Keep going. There's like a million <laughs> mullet in here. We found the mullet hole. Alright. Need to get underwater. Is it? It's a photo. Yeah, do you want this friend? Big moreo. Yeah, moreo. Yeah. I've just seen a couple of sharks in here hunting the mullet, hey. Really? So, yeah, just look out for them. Now in here Ooh. at night time, all the toothy critters come out and they start hunting. So things like moray eels, but in here the apex predator is the shark, the black tip reef shark. He's gonna be cruising around hunting in here. Uh, and there's a species of fish which has adapted a pretty cool hiding technique to get away from those black tit reef sharks. It's a parrot fish, and I'll see if I can find one here for you guys, but they hide up under the ledges, and what they do to hide themselves from the shark's smell, they actually blow themselves a little cocoon out of their own snot, and it creates like a force field so the sharks can't actually smell through and smell them. So it's pretty amazing. Um, we'll see if we can go and find some. Hey Jack, come look at this hermit crab. What has it got on top? Oh my god, I've never seen anything like that. He's got an anemone on top of it. What? That's awesome. Huh? Let's just see if we can get out. That was so cool. Did you enjoy it? What are you looking for? <laughs> oh, that was amazing. That was <laughs> unbelievable. It's so cool to see all the different species out at night time. Hey, I love it. They're all hunting and sleeping and... Yeah, yeah, we found yeah. where all the turtles come to sleep. Oh, there's so many turtles. So many turtles, hey. Okay, what was your highlight? The highlight for me was those hermit crabs, those marine hermit crabs, that on top of their shell had anemones on top of their shell. So they had like a pimped out ride where their shell was <laughs> covered in anemones, so... I've never seen anything like that. Was that was amazing, hey? That's so cool. Yeah, like... One one had the shell completely covered from the anemone, almost looked like it didn't even have a shell. It was just the anemone on top yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, very cool. And we saw... A big crab feeding. A big crab feeding. We saw a turtle with a sea cucumber attached oh, to yeah. its back. <laughs> Because he sort of got himself, yeah, he got himself stuck, <laughs> and then a uh, sea cucumber jumped on. <laughs> that was uh, that was amazing. It was really cool.